In this video, I built and designed the most special PC possible for the person who helped me buy this house, for the person who helped me pay for my dad's chemotherapy treatments, and for the person who allowed me to have the content creation career that I have today. I used to make $17,000 a year. I had so little money that one weekend when my girlfriend was visiting, I literally had to sell my gaming PC just so I could pay for the date. And I didn't just sell it to a friend, I had to bring her to a Craigslist meetup in the middle of our date. There's a lot more to that story, but the point is, I was broke. When you think about content creators, there are a lot of people that come to mind that make millions doing what they do. But there are a lot of creators that don't actually make that much money, and before I met Foosley, that was definitely the case for me. Now, she didn't just come to my stream one day and drop a Mr. Beast dono, she did something much more valuable. She taught me how to stream. Now, I know that might seem like the most boring, basic shit I could have possibly said, but hear me out. Streaming? is really fucking hard. Don't get me wrong, it's easy to download software and buy a webcam. Over a million accounts go live on Twitch and YouTube every single day, and yet less than 1% of those accounts actually make enough to go full time. On top of that, only a fraction of that top 1% actually make enough to support themselves financially. In content creation, it's really hard to watch anything that doesn't already do well because, well, Nobody watches low view videos and next to nobody watches lower view count streams. So when you go from viewer to creator, it is extremely frustrating and confusing to try and figure out why your work isn't paying off. When I first started making my own content, that was also the case for me. And even when I look back at the glimpses of success I had on my own, it's almost impossible without any guidance to understand why it did well and how to replicate it going forward. So rewind to 2019, I was invited to streamer camp. Well, I wasn't invited. I had to prove through multiple rounds of applications that I deserve one of the few spots available at this camp. Y'all know I can spit it. Where the me girls at? You know I'm trying to hit it. Are you Look, I just really wanted to go. And after making it in and getting to go down to LA and meet with all these different streamers and experience all these different moments, my life completely changed. It's impossible for me to explain how much I learned that weekend. I don't know if you can put a dollar amount on an experience like that because of how unique it actually is, but I can definitely say that I am recording this video now in this house that is a direct result of the knowledge that I gained from that weekend. And in case you don't understand how valuable content creator knowledge is, here's a clip for you. Hey Siri, call Jimmy Beast. Yo, Jimmy. What up, dog? I have a question for you. And I was... <clears throat> Wondering how much of YouTube you think is luck versus skill. It's 99% skill. Long story short, Leslie made me, but I'm not the only one. I, I have no response Don't here. care, didn't ask, plus L plus ratio, plus I made you, plus make better content, plus get a real <laughs> job, plus JoJo see what gets more the first dude, Leslie. There are a lot of content creators that are out there that are better off after having interacted with Leslie. And like I said earlier, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be in this house. I wouldn't have been able to pay for my dad's medical expenses, and I definitely wouldn't have the content creation career that I have today. So I was streaming when I was sent this clip. Hey, Chris, I would like a PC too. I'll pay me next. So afterwards we called and talked. So what so, are you thinking? Well, okay. So, okay. Um, I, for the most part, I'm totally down with literally anything. That. I've seen all the PCs you've made. They've all been like amazing. After that conversation, I hopped on a call with Sirtse, the artist who helped me with Lily Pichu's PC build. And after two hours of talking, we had nothing. The problem is that Leslie is a variety content creator and coming up with a theme for somebody who doesn't have one is extremely difficult. And not only that, she's been streaming for like eight years. She was basically there when the terms of service was written. What made this more difficult is that when Twitch was heavily attacked by DMCA strikes a couple years ago, Leslie had a fear of being banned off the platform because she had two out of three strikes had to delete all of her clips. So I didn't even have any reference points to see what her history was like. So in the end, I made a Discord group with mods from her stream and prominent figures in her community to help me piece together her history. They were able to help me fill in the blanks from her career from Among Us. And Leslie, she didn't stand in front of Wire, she stand in front of the other one. What are you talking to about? Wire. I said, you like it, by the way. <gasps> to her hair salon. <laughs> and her music career. <laughs> Ultimately, I think we had enough to put together a build for her. And yeah, this is where the sponsored segment of the video would go if I had a sponsor. So here's a shitty transition of me cutting to a build month. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so we're finally here. After all the months of this project, let's see what she thinks. Hello? Chris? What? Dropping off a package. You don't even know. You could hate this. That's true. It could be the worst thing ever. Hi. Hi, Chris. Thanks for telling me. You've seen maybe a tiny bit, yeah? The sock. The sock? <laughs> Do you have a knife? That's the only thing I'd bring a knife. Okay. So I'm sorry this took months, but I think it ended up being worth it because we ended up getting better parts for it anyways. Really? Yeah. I don't know what any parts are anyway. Well, I know a few. What do you know? CPU, GPU, motherboard. Those are in here. <laughs> 2090, 3090, TI, uh, i9. 2090s don't exist. <laughs> I've done a couple like this, but not one like yours specifically. As you know, there's art on here, but in the past we've gotten it put on acrylic and then put the acrylic on the case. There are some pieces like that, but for this case, the art is on the case. Like it is printed on top of it. And you're the first person we've done it for. So. So I'll introduce it like layer by layer. So, oh, there we go. Because your room has always had like the cyberwave aesthetic for like the last year, yep. that's why we tried to go with the blocked off grid pa uh, pattern with the botanical leaves to kind of tie it all together. Cause we could have gotten a million different art pieces and we did, yeah. but it looks tacky when it doesn't tie together. So you'll notice on the top and on the front and in other places. Wait, how did you get it on this part? Like, it's printed on. This is printed on? Yep, definitely don't shower it to test it. It's even on the mesh panel. What? And then the most oh, time-consuming piece is the one on the back. Oh my god! So which re which references do you see? Okay. Oh, I got so many. Sweater. Mm hmm Molly from oh. Animal Crossing, my favorite. The guitar, of course. <laughs> What's that under your bed? Uh, probably a uh, a uh, guitar. Sock. Really PhD among us. Mm -hmm. The chest piece, girl. Chest. Mm -hmm. Automaton because I was in. Who's cuts? Coffee? Yep. My logo's even here. Yeah, we got the new logo, the rebrand. Holy crap, we even went in on the detail. This is so good. And Those are all the references for the back. For the front. Oh my god. <gasps> I'll pop this off so it's easier to see. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, oh my god, tell me I can have the art afterwards. <laughs> I remember when Pokemon was a big big deal to you and Virgil, I would say a good part of my community too. Yeah. So one of the inputs that he had from when we were coming up with the art is gave Leslie the shiny Lapras that she really likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have you writing on the shiny Lapras. I remember a while back, you even put it out on Twitter that someone from your community sent you yeah. their old Yu-Gi-Oh card pack and then yeah. she mentioned that one of your favorite cards was Mirror, mirror Force. Force. So we got <laughs> Sako looking like Yugi holding a Mirror Force with the Mirror Force that in the background. So Puzzle. Yeah, and then for this part for the power supply shroud. So we have Sako here again with your name in the branding, and then we have a camera down here. I guess this could be for April now. <laughs> it's a vlog. It's a girl, April. So like, is he better than Christopher? Oh, hundred percent. That was easily. This is definitely better. You want to see it on? Yeah. All right, let's see it. Crazy. <laughs> Ready? Wow. Let's see. I imagine this fries the whole thing. This is all you. You press it. I have to press it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, is there anything in the shop making it ugly? Uh, move, move, okay. move. <laughs> All right, and I press this big one? Yeah. <laughs> you like it? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool! So something they do with the printing. It's super cute. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. This Same thing goes amazing. for the mirror force in the back. Let me see. And if you look on the cooler now. Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god, that is so cool! <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! This is like actually so <laughs> cool! Yeah, we got the flourish, the new logo, everything. It's all, it's a it's a Foosley custom PC. <laughs> it really is. This yeah. is like, this is more me than anything I can think of. <laughs> like, Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh yeah, turn it I, I was like, oh gosh, here we go. This is so <laughs> sick. That is so cool, the stars. Mm -hmm. Look at them. 
Yeah, everything that's cut out transparent is so that the RGB shines more through it. This is the only part I think that he left translucent, which I think is a really nice taste because it makes the Foosley and Sako pop more. This is crazy! <laughs> Chris! Okay. No way! This is actually like the thank you! What do you mean thank me? Thank you! No! Th no! This is the coolest thing I've ever gotten! Like this is actually like the craziest gift I have ever received in my life. I, wanna, ever. I, wanted, I wanted it to be nice. Ever. I think I, I think I've told you this enough times, but like I, I like cannot stress like how much like streamer camp literally changed my life. Like I've told you all the financial yeah. shit that it helped cover. So like there's like no way I, like uh, this is like nothing in comparison. So I wanted to make you something as nice as possible. I'm sorry it took so long. No, don't but. apologize. This is literally like the craziest gift. Like I, I was not expecting like whenever I, I had no idea it was gonna be like this. Mm -hmm. This is like, I've seen the stuff you've done, you know? And then I just still can't believe it. it it's crazy. It's like my PC. Let's say this ahead of time. If you attempt to pay me, I will fight you. I will pay you. No, you fucking won't. No, you fucking won't. <laughs> This is a gift. This is crazy. Okay, well, what if I told you how much I've made since streamer camp? And then, oh. like, you know, I mean, oh. no, not as much as you, but I, still. I, 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 Chris, you literally deserve it all. You, mm. Like, you're popping off. I've seen, like, you, like, grow so much. Like, you know, like, you that's, that's you guys, though, you know? No, no, no. It's Dude, not. streaming is tough. Like, sometimes it takes a vouch and, like, you know, you invited you invited people out to. I think Albert talked about it. He, he like, tried to say that that opportunity is probably worth 15000 I, I think it. In from my specific perspective, I think it's priceless. It really is. Yeah, no, I mean, like, Streamer Camp is sort of like our way of vouching for people, but we also like got vouchers. It's like a vouch, you pass, it's like a vouch system, you know, in a way. And um, you are one of the people that has succeeded my expectations. Like, and when I talk with Edison, I'm literally always, we're always talking about you. We're like, dude, Chris has really <laughs> like surpassed all of expectations. Like I, like genuinely. So yeah, this is, this is really special. It's actually really special. I mean, this is, means a lot. It's, it's crazy to look at something that like, clearly there's so much work put into it. And like, it embodies me so much. I just look at it and I just get happy. And it's like, this is so special, so. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I'm like,